So in this problem, we're asked to show that the cosinch of negative u is equal to the cosinch of u. It's kind of like a, like a simple proof. This basically shows that cosinch is what's called an even function. We're basically proving um, that cosinch is even. That's the definition of even, by the way. Function is even if you have this property and this is true uh, for all x. So if you have this, then you say the function is even. Let's go ahead and do it. And before we do, let me just recall over here the definition of cosinch of x. Just to use a different variable. The cosinch of x is e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. So it's basically the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. Okay, so proof. So I think we can just do it in one line. Let's see. We have the cosinch of negative u. Let's start with that. And what's that equal to? Well, let's use our, our definition up here on the top right. So it's e to the x, but instead of x, it's negative u. So it's e to the negative u plus, and then it's e to the negative x. So it's e to the negative negative u, and it's all over 2. So I'm showing an extra step here. So this is e to the negative u plus e to the u over 2. And now we can just rearrange these. This is really e to the u plus e to the negative u over 2. And now we're at the definition of cosinch. So this is equal to the cosinch of u. So really simple, just plugging it in and realizing that all you have to do is rearrange them because addition is commutative. And that completes our, our short proof. And this basically shows that um, the hyperbolic cosine is an even function. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world.